Bro, you really think I should try it again? Like, actually? Yeah, the, yeah, the interview sounds like a video. Good idea. Your mic cut out again, but I think I think it would be a good idea. Only if I can get access to him. Okay, so I'm playing Gorilla Tag right with my friend Kobe. Time to go do that work. Mm-hmm. Say hi, Kobe. Hi. There we go, buddy. Yeah. Okay, so I get a DM from my friend Two Pets. Okay, he says that he's talking to Chip Banjo, the creator of PBBV. Okay. Um, fast forward a day, and thankfully, I got an interview with Chip Banjo. Chip Banjo, I know you're watching this, and uh, thank you for giving me the time, and uh, just giving me the time to do this, and I'm truly thankful for it. Also, credits to Two Pets for the thumbnail. Awesome thumbnail, by the way. Also, warning, lots of languages in this one. If you don't like this, uh, I'd, I'd skip it. So, see you guys. Uh, this is the uh, interview. Let's go. Go for right. it. Sorry, he said Kaiser. He said Kaiser. So basically, the context of this conversation is: I said, "K, so we are going to be, uh, we're going to be recording," and he took K, so as K, so the. Never mind. Okay. Just, just, just. Right now. Okay. So you based your ARG with cats as the siren, correct? Uh, so you based it off of the siren, so be you have you ever been in contact with Max Connor or the creator of the ARG the monkey ARG PBBV? Okay, yeah, yeah, that one, yeah. Um I've been in contact with Max a couple of times. Um there was a why there was a long majority of time where I fucking hated him because I thought he stole PBV. And he thought I stole PvE from him, we were both, you know, in this stalemate thinking we- Cause it's just a cos- like, like Eddie said, it is a cosmic coincidence. And, you know, I don't think he stole PvP looking at all the facts. Because, all things considered, we've both had PvP or whatever planned for ages before in, in the works or whatever. I mean, he, he's different, right, where he was- What he did is he made a song called PvP, which is just- Right, he made that in July of 2021, I think it was, um, had nothing to do with Gorilla Tag, literally nothing to do with anything, but that that's a little weird, he technically, yeah, cause it was just a joke, and then, anyway, this what is what the he, heck? according to his story, which I'm gonna believe, um, Turning on my that inspired again. him to go into Gorilla Tag, as a salmon color monkey, because he just likes salmon, or the, the, you know, the color of red, whatever. Um, that inspired him to go into Gorilla Tag, walk on the bridge, be like, P-E-B-B-B-B, and then when people would come up to him and we'd go, oh, it's for... <laughs> apparently. And then, according to him, a kid in, his, in one of his lobbies that he did this in, went, that's kind of creepy, and then he made the Reddit post. Oh, so he's, he, so he... This could be way funnier. This could be way more of a bit, you know what I mean? So but it's, it's... Also it's... my thing. Well, I started it way back in, in March is when I started it. When I started thinking of what I could do this with this story. And I, th I think that's also when I made the characters. And if you look on my operator account, you can see Rebecca and Paul were made all the way... I think it was before Gorilla Tag's release, even. Or like just after, around the same time I was planning PvP, but at the time I didn't. It, I don't think it had a name. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it was just because I did FNAF VHS tapes. I think it was just me saying I want to do something like that with Gorilla Tag because this game has a weird atmosphere, but it's still very fun, and I love this game. So, in the interview, this is on J-Man's video, so in the interview itself, you said that in one of your videos, that was genuine reaction footage of someone joining your lobby. Is this true, or is this just... Yes, this is actually true. Um, I also have a short on my YouTube channel, I think it's my first short. Um, but, what happened was, I would join gibberish codes when I was recording the PBV videos and this is oh cool like coop code these were pre-recorded before August 6th I'm pretty sure don't 
don't quote me on that, though. I'm not sure about that because I've <laughs> memory. I can't remember much around here. But I remember I that I had like four videos, four to five videos already done of the PVV ARG before I actually launched it. And one of them was there was not Doc Paul. There was um Siren Error and Failure of 32 Ben, which is the original name. I think it's Unexpected Visitor now. Yeah. Unexpected visitor is his name. Now. Oh yeah, unexpected video visitor. I've I've seen those. I've actually watched those. Yeah, those two were in the same session, and they were the thing is in the siren ever. What I do is I jump off there, I come over here, I click this, and then I pretend my game crashes, and I have in the bottom of my game crashes. But what actually happens is I then went, and then what happens? I hear. <laughs> Somebody joined the quack, quack, quack. lobby, and the thing about it being a real reaction is that it wasn't a reaction to me being scared that someone joined my lobby. They had Rock Monkey, so it was just Gorilla Tag being Gorilla Tag, and that's so, that, like that's so quack. funny. And somehow, I'm quack. amazed by this. I was I would walk up here. I thought I heard the sound, and in literally milliseconds, I go boom. Realize there's someone there. Boom, and run, and... Okay, so I thought that was I fear. I thought that was fear thinking. footage. I wouldn't say it was fear. I think it was, or it was fear, but it was fun of the actual game. Yeah, like but the I fear that you have whenever you're running from a, like, a lava game. monkey or whatever. So after... Uh, so after the... What's it called? The monkey ARG launched. You were angry at, uh, Max... If the P if like the monkey form never launched, which I think even if BR if Max didn't exist, I think it still would have happened. Someone would have made it like that. Uh, what did you plan on doing with the ARG if it ever got big or actually got noticed and someone and like people would go through ghost codes as a reference now and trying to look for this thing? Dude, honestly, I don't know. I remember at some point I was brainstorming some ideas I could do with it in a J-Man server. But I was then shortly banned, I think? I, I, I don't... Well, I'm, I'm not unbanned because I, in the j Man Curly interview, I was like, Yo, by the way, I got banned from your server, can you unban me? I was like, yeah, sure. But, um... What happened was, uh... Oh yeah, I, th I thought I was... I'm pretty sure I brainstormed in j Man server about future stuff I could do, but like I said, I, I can't remember any of that. <laughs> but, I would... I'm I'm thinking it would go sci-fi probably, which it didn't. Um, and I don't know. Uh, it, quack, quack. Vince, I mean, there, there would have been the cult quack, quack. probably with mm -hmm. Vince and all that. Except that wasn't planned. That was just that just happened. And then because I was because I really wanted to end PVV because I was sad and I thought it ruined Gorilla Tiger at the time. I had this really cheap way because I I continued the ARG on Twitter as well as YouTube. At some point, um, Banjo Void, I think the account was called, um, which was v Vince Kelly, uh, which is no longer a character, canonically, in my series. But, basically, I was setting up this storyline of, like, a cult of Paul, or Lemon, whatever. At the time, I think he was, um, he didn't have this- Paul Jones, or whatever. Thing. Yeah, Paul Jones. Um, but at the time, he didn't have his, he didn't have Lemon, or Apcre, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> But anyway, I was setting up like a storyline where there was like a cult around Paul and his games and all that. It sucked. Made no sense. And then I just killed Paul. So you erased Paul from like this and like the entire series because he sucked. I was trying to end PBV as quickly as possible because I thought it sucked. And so what I did it was just like breaking news: Paul <laughs> died. And it was it was so. Funny. <laughs> and. I'm happy after that, I went back on that and I was like, okay, I gotta finish this story properly. And I went, I did restart and the rest of the videos. But, yeah. I knew who Max was. I didn't know the, I didn't know the name, but I knew that, like, he, I'm pretty sure he made a post on YouTube or, like, somewhere, it might have been on Reddit. 
that he was actually on the Reddit where it's Maxcon 100, I think. Yeah, I think so. But I think it's like where he said that he was actually giving the people the login to VR Player 100. So he, cause like he was trying to tell everyone, hey, it's me, it's me, it's me. And then he was trying to give everyone, uh, like the login just to prove that it was him. Yeah, I can actually, I can back that up. Cause while I did sort of like just not mention anything at the time, um, because I was, because I was, I, again, still thought he stole PBV from me at the time. But back in the Tribe of Monkey Discord servers, that <laughs> brought back. Oh yeah, Tribe of Monkey, I remember that. That brought back flashbacks for some people, but, what the f- I don't know what the heck that was. Another uh, topic that I actually wanted to cover is, uh, you actually said it was either, it was in VMT's video. You had said that someone, you don't know how, actually somehow disconnected your display port. False. False. See, this is another thing that's like, VMT and J-Man, I think, I think J-Man's pretty cool and all, but I, I will say that their editing is, what they edited was pretty misleading, because, I'm, I, I can't remember which one it was, I think it was VMT. I think, it, well, I think it was VMT that was more honest about it, but I'm pretty sure in J-Man's video, he edited it together, where it sounded like I was saying, PBBV display, uh, to, uh, disconnected my display port, right? Mm -hmm. What I was saying in the interview was that, because um, I had this whole separate thing for the ARG, mm -hmm. where it was called the Chip Spies, right? And it was, people who were going to PBV ghost codes, just stare at people, you know, just watch what's going on, right? Mm -hmm. And usually it was just me and a couple of people. Um, but we'd go in with the top hat and color 222. We'd be called Chip Spy. And I think a number? I'm not 100% sure on that. But we'd just watch people, you know, <laughs> move around and never talk. But what happened was, what actually happened was when I saw one, because the Rift S is such a headset. <laughs> oh yeah, I've heard about that. Oculus just stopped working. Just stopped working for a day. Coincident? I, I think it's coincidental because I saw. But I was in the same lobby as a chip spy. But it really does piss <laughs> me off that they edited it in a way that made it sound like, oh, PVV <laughs> broke my headset, right? Because it's not what happened at all. I actually wanted to cover this because I didn't quite understand. You describe Paul in our uh, DM. You describe Paul as being an in-universe version of Lemming. Those are the words that you used, I believe. Yep. So what does that mean? Um, Lemming right now is in this universe. So PBV, He's not on a different freaking dimensional plane. Like, what are you talking about? No, okay, so PBV is our universe, mm. but slightly different. So, oh yeah, I know about this. Isn't it like this thing where if you join like Sren Seventeen, it's the, the hackers made a game replica or a universe replica, or if you join that code, you're in that replica. It's not a universe replica. That's too sci-fi. What I'm saying is, basically, here's the thing: Gorilla Tag is not a game in the PBV universe, not anymore at least. What is the thing in PBV now is the Gorilla Tag in the PBV universe is called. Monkey Grounds VR, I think that's the right one. There's a bunch of monkey. Mo oh, it's Moon K, sorry. M O O. M O O N dash K. So it's Moon K, or Moon K, or like monkey sort of. But it's Moon K because they're space chimps. Um, but basically, right now we would be playing Moon K Grounds or whatever. I don't remember the game again. Um, but in that, there's the ATCV radio, mm -hmm. right? And that plays Chimp Needs to Fly. In our universe, or in the in, in previous... Before I changed the series to be an alternate dimension or, or an alternate universe or whatever, when it was still Gorilla Tag in the PVV universe, this would be really confusing, I'm sorry. That would play ATCV, and that would play Monkey Needs to Swing. So you can probably already see... In this universe, things are slightly different, but they're still the same, right? Mm-hmm. So, in this universe, there's a bunch of Gorilla Tag games. In this universe, or not Gorilla Tag, but... 
Gorilla Tag Games. Yeah. In this universe is one, with a bunch of different modes and maps. In this universe, it's space chimps. In this universe, it's gorillas, right? And so, what it is, is, in this universe, we have Lemming, the ex-Echo VR player, or the, yeah, professional ex-Echo VR player, who went on to make his own game. In this universe, we have Lemon, the Reflect VR, the Reflect VR Pro, who went and made his own game. And then, so it's, it's the same thing, but different, and that's because I don't want to make e- I, wanna, I don't want to be like, I think Lemming's evil. Because the thing about the PvV story is it's basically about greed. The whole thing is that Lemon is a very greedy person. Oh no, we know that for a fact. I'm not seeing these freaking store prices. It was more of a advice to Lemming to not take advantage of what he has. He's kind of done that. I'm just saying, he's kind of done that. I think this game is in way worse shape than it was when he was the main guy. And I say, I'm always going to say that. Probably. Um, but Lemon was... Lemming, if he went off the deep end, essentially. Ah, uh, he, like, drifted into, like, some sort of insanity or whatever. Kind of. He got greedy with money and, like, you know... Kind of went crazy. Yeah, it's... But again, it's not, like, FNAF levels of, like, insanity where it's just, like... Yeah, William Afton's this really petty guy. Who just killed a bunch of kids, because his- Uh, yeah, his, uh, yeah, his, his, uh, his child died, so he went and, uh, killed, um, some kids, and then they went into some robots, and now they're killing the- yeah, some guard like or whatever. Yeah, I like making sci-fi, unless it's, like, zombies, sort of, which I'm currently writing. Well, not writing, but I'm currently making a burn up campaign thing. Um, not working on it right now, at least, but, um... To close the interview, I want to cover this last topic. Rebecca, as it is described in the Paul, uh, the Paul document. There's a document. There's a Gorilla Tag Ghosts wiki. I'm sure you're aware of this. Some HMI thing that I created in Ghost Group, whatever. Uh, as I was described in the Paul document, it's described that the Re Paul Jones and Rebecca Jones. Rebecca Jones is Paul Jones's daughter, and Paul Jones has died, and he killed uh, Mark. Mark he uh, killed Mark Jones, which is PBBB, and then now that both of them are dead, they're in a constant feud, and then Rebecca somehow locked them into their spirits in the gorilla tag. That's the lore, anyway. That's the Paul thing, but I don't think the Paul that's in that document is has I don't I think he has nothing to do with this lore that you're describing to me. It just it just it just yeah. doesn't seem to line up. Yeah, my jaw just dropped. What the? F <laughs> that's that's so off on so many levels. Um. Uh no, Paul. Uh, Rebecca's last name. I don't think it's ever been Jones. I don't know. And Paul's definitely has. It's always been. Well, Paul. uh. Paul, wait, 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 what's his middle name? I forget. Paul, Paul's full name is Paul Luke Jones, okay? So there you mm -hmm. go, that's his middle name, name, name drop. Um, Rebecca is Rebecca J. Suman, uh, S-U-M-A-N. Sure. Um, Mark is Mark Neo Kelly, Mark Neo Kelly, and Ben is Ben Cook Kelly. Oh, Jane Jones, oh, I have, there's that weird, weird video where you see you, Chip Banjo, on a stage, and then on the right, there's squished up text of Jane Jones. Who is Jane Jones? I'm actually, I've actually been quite curious about that. What is, who is Jane Jones? Uh, again, Jane Jones, Jane Jones doesn't exist anymore, like mm -hmm. I said. What, what? It's no longer a canon character, mm -hmm. and I removed it because it's one way too dark, or it's way too dark for the story I was trying to tell, and it was unnecessary, and it was too dark for a gorilla tag. Uh, that in general, mm -hmm. basically, um, Jane Jones is Paul's daughter. 
Paul does not. Paul no, Paul no longer has a daughter, or maybe he does, but it doesn't matter to the story at all. Who cares? He might exist. She might not. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, no, but Paul, Jane Jones exclusively doesn't exist because what she basically was was not exactly, but she, because she was physical, she was an actual person, whatever. But she was essentially a metaphor for self, right? And like depression and all that. Shit. Oh crap! As a character. So she was very, you know, she was very f***ing dark, and she wasn't necessary for the story. Um, so yeah, it's that she's been, she's gone. Um, I don't remember why I got rid of Vince exactly, but I, I think it was just that he was way less interesting than Ben, and I don't know, I don't remember exactly what it was. Well, that was it. If you have any comments that you would like to ask Chip Banjo, please leave them in the comment section. And me and Chip Banjo may, or may not, uh, actually do an answer and comments video. But this m might happen because Chip Banjo has a lot going on right now. Also, join the Discord. Yeah, we got a Discord. Uh, go ahead and join it. Awesome community. We're going to be trying to build up the community and just have a great time there. We also have a group called the HMI there that you can go and join if you want to. That's just a ghost hunting group, but you'd have to fill out the forum. But, uh, yeah, this was the video. Again, thank you guys so much for 5k. It's awesome. Halfway to 10k. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for 5k. And, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace!